Brian Dolesky with Able Distributors. Today, we're going over the fault codes for the Napoleon NS18 heat pump. Now, if you know how we work here at Able Distributors, every piece of equipment, we try to do an overview, which I'll link under this video. Just tells you the nuts and bolts and the, the, the interesting things about the unit. Then we do a tips and tricks for the installation. Make sure you do it right. I'll link that video below this one too. And now we're going through the fault codes. So now this Napoleon has about 27 fault codes. Most of these you're never ever gonna see. So what I did was I picked what I would think would be the most popular six fault codes. And then I'm gonna have another couple clues at the bottom. So let's get right into it. Pretty self-explanatory. Fault code E1, high pressure protection. Obviously the pressure in the system is too high. Why? Outdoor fan isn't running, isn't running at the right speed, or the coil's dirty. Too much Freon in the system, too much refrigeration, refrigerant in the system, or a blockage on the high side of the uh, AC system. E3, low pressure protection. Again, pretty simple. You could just be simply low on refrigerant. The indoor filter could be plugged or dirty. You could have blockage on the suction side of the system. Pretty simple. E4, high discharge air temperature. Again, outside ambient could be too high. This thing will cool to 129 degrees. If it's 130, you might be in trouble. Um, the outdoor fan could not be running at the right speed or maybe it's not working at all. The outdoor coil is dirty and a lot of times when you look at these coils, they look clean. You right, really got to clean them. You should use some, some uh, chemical on it to make sure they're clean. The expansion valve, the electronic expansion valve in the outdoor unit, if you checked out everything else, that might be the last thing you want to check out. Code H4, overload, kind of says it all. Overcharged, the coil could be plugged. Now which coil, indoor or outdoor? If it's a coil that's plugged, indoor would be in heating mode, it might show that code. Or if it's in cooling mode, it would be the outdoor coil that's plugged and that would show that code. These two I grouped together. High voltage protection, low voltage protection. Again, pretty common, pretty easy. Check the voltage you got coming to the unit. Don't go one line to ground and the other line to ground. Go line to line to make sure you have it because a lot of times you can check 120, you go to the other one, you think you got another 120, it's the same 120. One of your, your fuses and your disconnect is blown, one half of the breaker tripped, whatever you got going on, check the voltage to the unit. Check the connections. Make sure that the wire nuts are tight, everything's tight, there's no loose uh, wires in the disconnect and uh, on the unit. And then last thing you'd want to check is, is the board. You might want to call tech support for that. Some of the things we went over, obviously it's pretty super simple, but these are the things that get guys all the time. Make sure your unit has a ground. On these high-end modulating pieces of equipment, you need a ground. Now, a lot of times in our neck of the woods, you see a conduit with two wires in it, and that's it. 120, 120, you got your 240 volts, that's it, and they used a conduit as ground. House is 50 years old, it's been remodeled a million times, settled, it, it shrunk, it moved, conduit comes apart and you no longer have a ground. Make sure you have a ground. Again, check your voltage. Make sure you got the right voltage going to the unit. Put a surge protector on. Now, again, it just protects for over and under, it, is, it protects against spikes, and it's a cheap investment for security. Clean line set. Now, some of the stuff we were talking about here is blockage. When you braze, you get debris. You have an old line set, you have debris, old oil, sludge, whatever happened to the old unit. New line set, purging with nitrogen as you braze or don't braze at all is the best way to go. Clean coils. I still run across guys that have issues on regular condensing units, I get there, we spray the thing down with chemical, start cleaning it. Not only does the unit run colder and have a lower pressure, we actually feel an increase of the air coming out the top. So make sure everything's clean.
Don't assume the filter's clean. Slide it out and check it. Um, those are my hints. These are the top six fault codes that I think you might run across. Honestly, if it's installed correctly and set up correctly, you're never going to see it. This is the Napoleon NS18 side discharge heat pump. Check out the other videos. I got to tell you, this thing is an amazing piece of equipment. You're going to want to try one out. Thank you.